hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be talking about how to create this kind of modern bottom navigation when i was at my starting stage of development i faced lots of issues regarding this kind of bottom navigation so that's why i have created this video uh, this is basically for beginners and also if uh, there is requirement in your project uh, like uh, this UI you can use it I will put the code on github and will share the link in the description box so without any delay let's get started so first of all you will have to install a package google navbar and I will also put the link in the description for this package so this is the normal stateful widget and uh, this is my scaffold I have applied background color to scaffold and this is my app bar these are normal styling for this particular app bar so i'm moving forward so first of all you will have to take bottom navigation bar and inside this i'm taking container and then i'm setting color color would be like this let me run this let's see what happens to the ui okay let's move forward inside this child i'm using padding and edge insets dot symmetric horizontal i'm taking 10 and vertical i'm taking 12 and this inside this padding i'm using child which is like g dot nav which it, it is coming from the package that we have installed so gnav and i'm also setting the background color for this again the color active color and tab background color i'm taking here and also tab background gradient I'll use gradient color uh, and there will be a gap of 6 between each tabs and padding from all the elements will be 10 and these are uh, also the properties I will show you at the end of this video so gnav has a required property which is tabs we will have to add number of tabs inside this so for now i'm taking here four tabs and it takes g button and inside this profile cart category and home and it has also required property of icons cart icon i'm using home icon let me run this till now it is looking like this so what is here active color this is the active color and tab background color this is the tab background color tab background gradient this is the tab background gradient and you can play with it so for now i'm just moving forward i am i'll be attaching page so that you can show different ui on the tab of these tabs so let's move forward so first of all you will have to create selected index now it is zero and then on tab change property it has got this predefined function and inside this i'll be using set state and this is the current index on which we, we will be tapping so i will initialize this selected index value with this index and all things are happening inside this set state so what it will do i'm using body inside this body i'm using pages 
and inside this pages there is selected index so I will have to create this variable you can define your pages or selection here so finally it would be a list type and type would be widget and pages and inside this I'm adding my pages you can replace it with yours so I'm creating this the UI like I'm taking four containers for these four tabs and I'm adding color in both the container and center I want to show only the icon in uh, on every pages which would be in the center so let me run this once again okay I'll have to give the size also I'm providing hundred size and also providing the color to this icon you can change the UI of separate pages from here let me run this actually it is array so I'll have to run this let me run this now it is coming when I'm tapping here the UI changes so for now I'm just moving here suppose if you want to give border so what you will do you will use this and let me save this here comes the border on all the tabs okay and suppose if you want to change the color of active tab change the border of active tab then you, you can use this like this I'm using like light orange color for active tab border color and if you want to show shadow you can show it like this and if you want to provide border radius you can also provide it like this so hope you enjoy this video and you can play, play around with this code you can use my code in your project and you can make changes according to your requirements and i will put the code on github and will share the link with you and uh, hope you have enjoyed this video and if you really like this video please do subscribe and like this video and uh, yes that's it in this video hope to see you next time in our next video bye for now